Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk, talk about how you can play an Alicia Keys song called Girl on Fire. And it starts on an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go D on the second fret, the second finger is going to go the G on the second fret, and the third finger goes the B string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that makes an A major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from A major, we're going to be going to an F sharp minor chord, which we're going to take the first finger and put it across the entire second fret. Third finger on the A string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the D on the fourth fret. If you strum all those together, that makes an F sharp minor. It sounds really, really sad. And that, if that's a little bit difficult for you with, with bars, you can actually kind of just play a little piece of that. For instance, you could take your first finger and just kind of try the top two strings, or the top three strings as a bar, or the top four strings as a bar, or even the top five strings as a bar, or even the, the all six strings as a bar. And then try it in the three and four. But I know that can be kind of difficult, but you can kind of cheat that with different numbers of strings. And then from there, we're going to a D major chord. And when you play D major, first finger is the G on the second fret. Second finger is going to go high E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go the B on the third fret. And if you strum the top four strings, that makes a D major chord that sounds really, 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 really happy. And then from D major, we're going to be going to an E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to go the G string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go the A string on the on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And so at the very beginning, we're kind of blocking through those four chords. And we don't actually get to another chord until the chorus. So from the very beginning, you've got kind of A major. F sharp minor, D major, E major, A major, F sharp minor, and then we kind of double times the chords where we're playing a little bit faster. We do a D major, and then an A major, and then a D major, and then an E major, and then we get to our chorus part. We got A major. F sharp minor, but then we go to a C sharp minor, and, and, and basically what we're going to do is taking the first finger and barring just the, on the fourth fret over all the strings, and two is going to go to the B string on the fifth fret, third finger is going D on the sixth fret, and the pinky goes underneath him on the G on, on, on the sixth fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C sharp minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And like the F sharp minor, if that's kind of difficult to do the bar chord, you could just take the top part of that chord. Like you could take the high E on the four, E on the fifth, third finger on the G on the sixth, and just play just that much of that chord if you wanted to. Or another alternate would be to kind of play the first finger on, on the high E fourth, second on the B on the fifth, third finger on the D on the sixth, and the pinky on the G on the sixth, and you could just play just those four strings to kind of get another C-sharp minor. So then we go to C-sharp minor in the chorus, and then from C-sharp minor we're going to E major, and then we go to A major again, and then F-sharp minor, C-sharp minor, and then E major. Now a lot of times with a song like this though, um, what I like to do to add, add to it to make it a little bit more interesting is something I call a strum pattern. And my favorite strum pattern for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A major and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So you want to practice that a lot just to kind of get used to it. But if we use that on our intro progression and our chorus part that comes in after, we have A with down, 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 down. And then we get to the D and A and the, 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 the D and E that we were doing earlier is kind of like a, a halftime thing where we were dub or where we were uh, we were halfing those. And basically, you take the strum pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, and just kind of half it, or, or actually, we could take half of that strum pattern, just the down, down, up, and do on each chord. 
So you'd have D with the down, down, up, just that much of the strum pattern, and then the A with the same thing. Down, down, up, and then the D with half the strum pattern. Down, down, up, and then E with half the strum pattern. Down, down. So there's some places where we'll, we'll be doing that kind of half and that, and that like kind of comes back, that D, A, uh, D. But then we, from there, we'd be on our chorus with our strum pattern. So we'd have our A, down, up, Keys. So, good luck! <laughs>